All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for attending our HS Cares <coughs> event this month. We um, we hold this every month, the third Friday of each month, except for December and January. It's our busy season, so we don't take on anything extra that we don't absolutely have to do during that timetable. But the other 10 months of the year, we want to open up our, our arms and, and um, our facilities to everybody and educate. And that's what this is really all about, is education. Most of the time, because Human Capital Strategies, we do HR, payroll, benefits, workers account, the topic is HR related. However, twice a year, we pick a non-HR topic. And this week, or this month, is obviously marketing in today's environment, or non-traditional marketing in today's environment. We have three very, very powerful speakers, very dynamic speakers, and just top in, in their industries and professions. So I'm very excited to have them here. Uh, we have Jim McClure from Arizona Color, Jim Yaki from America on Hold in the back there, and then Tim Connolly from, uh, what, what are we going to call it, Talon? Uh, no, not yet. Local Market Master. Yeah, yeah. All right. He's going to tell you stuff, too. So um, we, uh, we're very fortunate to have all three of them here. And I think you're going to get quite a bit of value out of what they have to offer. They each come at their industry from a unique perspective and looking at to maximize ROI, et cetera. And that's what this is about right now, especially in today's economy. You know, marketing is, is important to do, especially in a, a tough economy. Certainly, you pick up market share, et cetera. But doing it with the most cost-effective way, the most effective way, period, is certainly important. So that's why we have these of course, if you noticed anything, we had really rigid criteria in the fact that your name has to end in M and can only be three letters. Uh, your first name. Right? Jim and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> very, very particular criteria for this event. So, um, you did your homework. I did. I, yeah, I thought of that one last night. Uh, so anyway, I you know, don't want to take up too much time. Again, we're Human Capital Strategies. This is HCS CARE, stands for Creating a Rewarding Educational System. And without further ado, we'll get right into it. So, Jim McClure from Arizona Color. Thanks for having me, everybody. Thanks for coming out this morning. I'm not a morning person, so bear with me. And uh, you gave me too much credit. I am not a dynamic speaker. Um, I like to speak. I like people. I like standing in front of you guys and talking about my industry. But I'm certainly not a dynamic speaker, but I'm very passionate about what I do. Um, does any, everybody know what a vehicle wrap is? Should I go into a little bit about that, what that is? Um, a vehicle wrap is an advertising medium that's pretty new um, in the last few years. And uh, basically, it takes your vehicle, say that's your pickup truck, um, and it takes your vehicle and turns it into something like that. Um, this is something that we did for a uh, aquarium cleaning service, or aquarium maintenance service. Um, you already see those? Um, and uh, it's just a new form of advertising that allows you to drive around in your vehicle or advertising on someone else's vehicle in some cases. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, is this paint? Uh, no, it's not paint. Um, what a vehicle wrap is, is a vinyl product. Um, the vinyl we use is manufactured by 3M. I'm sure everybody knows what 3M is. They make everything in the world. Um, but the vinyl product we use is manufactured by them. They're, they're, they do make, uh, other companies do make these vinyl products, but 3M is known to be the, uh, the best. Um, this product runs through big large format printers and there's a solid based ink that gets laid on there and uh, then we laminate it with a, a 3M over laminate to protect it uh, against the, uh, the elements. Sun is our, our worst element here in Arizona. Um, it is removable so it is meant to be a temporary campaign. Um, it's semi-permanent is what we say. Um, a vehicle wrap is meant to last three to five years so the campaign um, from the date starts to the date ends, about three to five years. And in Arizona, it's closer to the three-year mark because of our, our sun and our elements out here. Um, it's less expensive, and you're able to do more with it than traditional paint. Um, it was originally started for large semis, fleet vehicles, mostly flat surfaces. And 3M came up with a way for us to move this vinyl around complex contoured surfaces so we can do around fenders and front ends of vehicles and stuff like that. Um, the windows are covered by another material, it's a perforated material, that has holes in it. So we're able to see out perfectly, but you, 
can't see it, and we can put graphics on that. So if you've ever seen uh, you know, the buses going around town that have all the graphics on it and the windows are done and ever wonder, can you see out of that? You see out clearly and perfectly. Um, the state of Arizona does not allow us to do the windshield for obvious reasons or the drivers and passengers glass, but all the other windows on your vehicle can be covered with this, this vehicle and add to the, uh, to the effectiveness of it. Um, how does this advertising work? Uh, in the old days, uh, pre-vehicle wraps, we had we, we painted vehicles and painted messages, and we had computer cut vinyl. And this would be what you'd see on uh, in the older days. It's a die cut vinyl, and we used to be able to put um, our name and our logos and stuff on a vehicle with computer cut vinyl. Because consumers are pushed advertising all the time, anywhere we go, we're pushed advertising. We become immune to this type of advertising as consumers. I don't know the last time one of you guys went down the road and looked at a box truck and we just kind of look over at it, we see that there's lettering on it, and that's it. That's as far as we get with our attention span anymore because we just know it's a work truck and we're gone. Um, where it's still good for is identification. So if you just need identification for your business, so you're gonna pull up into a uh, into a residence, let's say you're a pool cleaner, and you pull up to the residence and you knock on the door and the person looks out the window and they say, ah, oh, that's the pool cleaner because it says, you know, Jim's pool service on the side. That's really all this is good for anymore because we're just immune to it. We just don't know if it's a plumber or a caterer anymore and that's that's a horrible mistake to make. Um, so <laughs> we, we have uh, in comes vehicle wraps and we're able to catch your attention now. We're able to catch that consumer's attention and give them something extra. Um, as you can see, this is a vehicle that we did recently for Unique Heavy Recovery, and this is die cut graphics, and uh, this is what we did. Um, we needed something that was unique, so we had a uh, rhinoceros, and when the vehicle's on the back of this of this truck, it or kind of looks like the, the rhinoceros is pulling that vehicle, so uh, it gets a lot of attention around town, as you can imagine, because this truck is huge. Um, so you can see the difference in, in impact. Um, what a